Is your golf swing broken? Maybe it's just flat out bad, or maybe you just need a few minor tweaks here and there and you need someone to tell you if you're doing things the right way, you need positive feedback. Well, if that's the case, then this device here might be exactly what you're looking for. This is the Hack Motion, and it is one of the most high-tech swing trainers out there. But it's really only gonna be for you if you have certain issues. What issues are those, and is it worth investing upwards of $300 in this? Keep watching, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, so what is the Hack Motion? Well, essentially, it's a swing trainer that focuses on one thing specifically, and that is wrist angle. What is your wrist doing at the top of your backswing? What is it doing at impact? Because what your wrist does is essentially dictating where the ball is going to go. It is one of the main keys to consistency when it comes to your golf swing. And so if you can get your wrist in the right places at the right time, you can have a more consistent golf swing that's gonna lower your scores and genuinely just help you enjoy the game more. But at anywhere from $295 up to $995, it's not exactly a cheap device. Well, sure, it could save you a bunch of money on lessons over time. It's still a pretty big upfront cost. And the question is, is it worth it? Is it going to help your game? So let's jump into it. Let's look at how it works, how the setup works, and if it's actually going to be the right product for you. So when you get the box, the Hack Motion has solid presentation. It actually looks in is packaged better than I was expecting it to be. Because I'm gonna be totally honest, their website, it leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not the like best looking, most well-designed website. So when it came packaged very nicely, I was very pleasantly surprised. That being said, the device itself is, it's a little odd in the design. So you've got the main sensor here and then you've got a secondary sensor on the wrist. And there's a little like, you remember an old school telephone cord? Some of you may be too young to remember those. Uh, that kind of connects the two. So the way it works is you slide it on your wrist. So it'll be, basically like an inch above your wrist. Put it on, boop, tighten it like that. And then you put the second sensor around your hand like this. Lay it flat. There you go. That is how the hack motion sensor works. It also comes with a small piece so that you can use it wearing a glove and it makes it easier for that whole thing to work. But generally speaking, because of this kind of unique design, I was like, oh, this feels like it could be kind of difficult to set up. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Fortunately, the app has you covered. The setup process is super easy. You charge it, you turn it on, you download the app, you set it up, you connect it via Bluetooth, that all works seamlessly. But then in terms of calibrating it, figuring out how to wear it and all of that, they have a bunch of videos that tell you very clearly exactly what you need to know. So whether it's learning how to set it up, whether it's learning how to put it on, whether it's understanding how to use it and what the different features and the different information means, they do a better job than most companies I've seen when it comes to education of the consumer on how this works. But that's also part of the problem with this particular device. The numbers it gives are not necessarily the numbers you're going to be used to looking at. So when you first get going, you might be like, I don't entirely know what this is all about. Once you watch the videos, once you actually start using it, it all becomes a little bit more clear, but it's not like using a launch monitor where it's like, oh, my carry was 190 yards. It's gonna take most people who aren't total data nerds a little bit more time and a little bit more practice to understand what these metrics mean. But once you do, that could be the key to unlocking consistency in your golf swing. I'm gonna take this off now because this just looks funny doing a whole YouTube video wearing this. So, boop, 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 boop. there we go. So once you've got the app, once you know how to put it on, once you get a general idea of what you're working with, one of the most important things you'll do is calibrate the device. And this process actually works really well. You essentially just hold your device when it's on like this, and then you're gonna move your arm up, and on the screen, you're going to be able to see in real time what your arm is doing. So you can move your arm around, you can move your wrist around, and you can watch all of that happening in real time. It's actually pretty cool, like it's pretty good tech, and being able to see like your bionic arm on your screen is kind of fun. It has not gotten old for me yet. Okay, so now that we know how to set it up, how about real world use? How well does it work? Well, one big thing I wanna note is they just like in the last couple days have upgraded the app. So when I was initially doing my testing, I had an old version of the app, which was fine, but it wasn't great. And one of the big hangups is you could only use it in landscape mode. And most people, when they're used to using their phone, they're used to just looking at it in portrait mode. So the new update has fixed that. You can use it in portrait mode. Everything looks, feels a little bit cleaner, and you still have all those helpful how-to videos. So it's nice to see them continually making improvements on their product, and this is definitely a big one. 
So when it comes to using the device, let's say you have their core product, the one that's $295, it doesn't include some extra stuff. There's basically two main metrics it's going to give you. And that's wrist position at the top of your swing and wrist position at impact. So what they've done is they've looked at a ton of different golf swings. They've kind of found the most ideal swing for most people. And so with this swing, you will have acceptable ranges at the top of your swing for where your wrist should be, as well as at impact. And so it's going to give you a range. And so after you hit a shot, or after you make a swing, it's gonna show you exactly where in that range you are. One thing that's worth noting is, let's say you like to bomb it, like Dustin Johnson or some of the other really long drivers on tour. They're gonna to have a different swing, and thus you can select different types of swings based on what is most closely reminiscent to yours. So even though the default one is gonna be right for like 80, 85% of golfers, if you have a swing that is a little bit different than that default, you can adjust it based on the type of swing you have. So for me personally, I found that my wrist angle at the top of my swing was always pretty much exactly where it needed to be. But at impact, it was not. And so it takes a little bit of time to kind of figure out and hit different swings, figure out, okay, what do I need to adjust to get it in the right position? What effect does that have on the ball? Even though the app does a really good job of telling you what that data means, it doesn't necessarily always give you the best data for how to fix things or how to improve it. So I found when using this, it's a little bit of trial and error. And so it's like, okay, if I make this swing or if I lag it a little bit or if I adjust this, this is the result it has on those ideal numbers. And then once you've got your numbers in the correct position and you can get it replicable, that's what you want to practice. One nice feature is you can save shots that were particularly good or bad, things that you want to come back to, so that when I finally got it dialed in, say, oh yeah, this is the swing I'm trying to recreate, I could always go back to that and compare it in future sessions. One feature that they tout that sounds really cool on paper is audio feedback. And so basically, it's going to play an orchestral note when you are at either the top of your backswing or right at impact in the correct position. So if you want to go really slowly, you can go back, and then it'll go, oh, when you're on the right position, and then you can go and you can finish your swing. The problem with this mode, even though it sounds great on paper, the problem I had is every time I went to address the ball, it would make that noise. And so I couldn't get it to change, no matter if I set it to make the noise at the top of my swing, or if I set it to do it in impact, or if I did it at both, every time I addressed the ball, it made that noise. And so it just kind of got a little bit annoying. It defeated the purpose of only doing it when I was in the correct position while I was making my swing. And so I found myself just turning it off. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a pretty easy software update. And so I'll review in the future in my written post, which I will link to below, as I'm able to test this out as they make future updates. So generally speaking, if you know one of the biggest problems with your golf swing has to do with your wrist angle and wrist position, then I don't know that there's a better device out there than in the hack motion. The problem is, is there's a lot that goes into the golf swing. Your stance, your weight, your backswing, your transfer of weight, all of those things factor in. And so while the hack motion does a really good job of telling you what your wrist is doing, it isn't necessarily giving you much data on the rest of your swing. And so I found if you're looking for more information around like swing plane or swing as a whole, this device, the DeWiz, I found to be a little bit more useful. Definitely not as good when it comes to wrist metrics, but when you're looking at the swing as a whole and you're trying to fix things, this tends to work a little bit better. I've also found that what they call the learning stimuli, which would be equivalent to the audio noise that the hack motion makes, it works a little bit better with the DeWiz. But here's the difference. The hack motion starts out at 295, whereas the DeWiz, it's gonna cost you at least like 600 bucks in order to get it. So the hack motion is less than half the price and it's also solving one of the primary factors that most people have issues with when it comes to consistency in their golf swing. So even though 300 bucks is not chump change, it's less than this, and it definitely does what it says it's going to do. There are upgrades as well. You can get the plus mode. With that, you get increased wrist data and you get more tour data. So you get more tour data based on what the pros are doing, or you can get the pro mode. And with the pro mode, you're getting all the data possible, plus you're getting a putting mode. And the putting mode, I've actually found to be really useful because you're not really doing a whole lot. It's all very minor movements. It makes it easier to adjust and to see what's going on. So you can kind of groove your putting stroke a lot easier. What I would do is I would start out with 
the base product. I would use it, I would see if it works, I would get that risk data and make sure that that is the data that you really need for the issues you have in your golf swing. And if you like it and if you find it helpful and you wanna apply it to other parts of your game or if you're a total data nerd and you want all of the risk data that I honestly don't fully understand, then you can decide whether or not you wanna upgrade. But since they do have that upgrade path, I would start with getting the base model first, test it out, make sure it's right for you, and then you can decide if you wanna spend more money on the rest of the data. So to sum it up, the Hack Motion is a really cool device that does exactly what it says it's going to do. It gives you that wrist data, it tells you if you're in the proper position at the top of your swing or at impact, and it does it really well. But outside of those two data points, the rest of the data it gives, especially if you get into the plus and the pro modes, Honestly, it's a little overwhelming. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that data, with the exception of the putting data, which is very useful. If you know you've had issues with consistency in your swing and specifically getting your wrists in the right place, this is super useful. If you think the issues in your swing are more swing plane, weight, stance based, then I'm not sure this is necessarily the right product for you. But honestly, there's only one way to find out. So definitely consider checking it out if you were looking to make swing changes and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on lessons over and over and over again. This gives you great feedback and the fact you can practice it at home while hitting a ball or not hitting a ball makes it super useful and super convenient. If you do decide you want the hack motion, then you can save 5% with the coupon code below. I will link to that so you can check it out. If you use that coupon code, as you might imagine, I will get a commission for that. So if you don't wanna use it, then just Google hack motion. You can go straight to their website. But but uh, honestly, I look at it as kind of a win-win. If you decide it's right for you, you can save a little bit of money and it allows me to continue doing videos like this. So take that for what it's worth. With that, my name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80, where we talk about cool golf products and cool golf courses. If you got some value out of this, maybe consider hitting subscribe, thumbs up, notification bell, do all of those things. And if you have any questions about this, I will do my very best to answer them in the comments below. And if you're watching this further down the line, and if you wanna know if they've made any updates, I will be updating my written review, which I will also link to below, as I'm able to test out new features and new updates that they make. So with that, I hope you have an excellent day. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.